lines and planes in space, but here in this subset of this section, we want to be able to um, to write uh, a set of um, parametric and symmetric equations for a line um, uh, through a point parallel uh, to some uh, given line. And then from there, uh, to be able to also write a linear equation to represent a, a line in space. Um, and then uh, we want to be able to graph uh, a plane given an equation of the line. So first, uh, lines in space, here we denote uh, PQ, where P is the uh, initial segment and Q is the terminal position. And so we can write uh, a line as PQ. We want to be able to write here the parametric equation of a line in space. Given here, a line L is parallel to a vector V. Uh, here, uh, the vector V with numbers A, B, and C are said to be the direction numbers uh, for um, for the vector or the or the the line segment in question. Passing through a point P and represented here by the parametric equations. Now, how do they form this equation? Is our question, and we want to be able to produce such an equation. And and then from there, the direction numbers A, B, and C. Uh, which comes from the vector v, uh, can give us here the symmetric equations uh, to the line. Well, let's see how to build all of this. And, and I think to build it, we want to be able to make use of this graph here. We have the line segment PQ. Um, uh, uh, Q is, is any number in the space. P is a fixed number, so we denote fixed uh, points uh, with subscripts. Uh, I use typically x sub naught, y sub naught, and z sub naught, which represents the same thing as x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1. Here, for a vector to be parallel to another vector, they must differ by some scalar multiple. We start there. So we say that, uh, assume that PQ is parallel to V, so there must exist a scalar multiple t. t is some real number, such that um, PQ is equal to uh, t times V. From there, you can build the above equations, both equations, uh, actually. Uh, let's do that. So to build the Parametric and symmetric equations. Here we assume that Assume that the line segment PQ, which is x minus x naught, comma, y minus y naught, comma, and z minus z naught. is parallel to the vector v. We're trying to make use of this diagram. We want to extract the, the geometric and build the analytic. So, so PQ, see how PQ is defined up here? Again, I'm using x sub naught, y sub naught, and z sub naught to represent x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1. Well, we said that if two vectors are parallel, then they differ by a scalar multiple.
two vectors. Or parallel if they differ by a scalar multiple. Here, let's say that the scalar multiple is t, where t is any real number. Thus, PQ is equal to T times V. Here, two vectors differ by a scalar multiple. So you can write one vector as a scalar multiple of the other. So we're writing PQ as a scalar multiple of V. So, so now, that is, PQ is X minus X naught comma Y minus Y naught comma Z minus Z naught is equal to t times here, these direction numbers um, for v, a, b, and c. Well, you interpret that here. This is distribute the t through t a, t b, and not to be t c. So for vectors to be uh, the same, their components are equal. So this then implies that x minus x naught is equal to t a comma y minus y naught is equal to t b or uh, b t and then z minus z naught is equal to t c right. so that is let's clean, clean this up this is x is equal to x naught plus a t, y is equal to y naught plus b t, and z is equal to z naught plus c times t. These three uh, would give you then your parametric equation for the line. It's, it's like for the line passing through the point x naught, y naught, z naught, in parallel to the vector v with components a, b, and c. Now to form the symmetric equations of the line, we take the same form here we solve for t. Solving for t, from the above equation produces here look at the first this is x minus x naught divide that by a that's equal to t the next one y minus y naught divided by b is equal to t and then z minus z naught divided by c is equal to t. Well, since they're all equal to t, then we have we have symmetry, so we say that they're all the same. That is, that x minus x naught over a is the same thing as y minus y naught over b. That's the same thing as z minus z naught all over c. So here forms the symmetric equations. Uh, to the line. Again, to what line? The line passing through the point x naught, y naught, z naught, and parallel to the vector with components a, b, and c. Well, let's see if there's a problem here that we can can work. 
here in this um, exercise, find the set of parametric equations and be the symmetric equations of the line through the point parallel to the given vector or line, if possible. For each line, write the direction numbers um, as integers, where well, the direction numbers are here a equal to 2, b equal to 4, then c equal to negative 2. Right. So we have the point, and so the point here, x naught is negative 2, y naught is 0, and z is equal to 3. So part A, we have x, we have everything we need. You want to have x equal to x naught plus at, comma, y is equal to y naught plus bt, and then z is equal to z naught plus ct. Well, you have it. So here x is equal to x naught, which is negative 2. Then it's plus at, where a is 2, so plus 2t, comma, y is equal to that 0, which is y naught plus bt, that's 4t, comma, z is equal to z naught, which is 3, plus ct, well c is negative 2, so this is minus 2t. Part b, we find the set of uh, symmetric um, equations uh, to the line. Well, we just, just rewrite uh, this, so we have x plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to y over 4 is equal to z minus 3 all over negative 2. Now, I don't see anything difficult about this. <laughs> now, well, one more here. Let's sketch uh, the graph of the plane. And you're going to find that to give the hint and label any intercepts. Well, to label any in intercepts means to find the intercepts. So simply, we're going to find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, the, the z-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we let uh, y and z equal to 0. Right? So if we let y and z equal to 0, here we get uh, 3 times x equal to 6. It gives us 2. Now for the next one, we let um, x and z equal to 0. So we get 6y equal to 6, so y is equal to 1. And then to get the here, the intercept, here we let uh, x and y equal to 0 to get the z-intercept. That gives us 2 times 3 equal to 6. So with the intercepts, we're going to plot them and then we'll connect them, and you have the, the graph for the, um, for the plane. Now I'm going to need some help because my hand is down in South Alabama. They say the word flicked it, flicked it, and I can't talk that well, but I cripple or whatever, so... And obviously, you can tell that. I should use maybe a different color for these points. This is the x axis the y-axis, and the z-axis. So here we find x is 2, y is 1, and then z is 3. Maybe I could have done it a little bit bigger. What do you think? Yeah, a little bit bigger. Maybe it's a different color. One, two, way out there. Then y is one. Then one, two, three. How about that? So these are the intercepts. So we're going to connect those. 
I need a straight line. And then shade it in. Let's see how it looks if I can shade it in. Whoa. Does that work? I don't think this works. Okay. Like you're pouring something in. I'm not pouring anything in. Dag blast it. Okay, this looks horrible. I didn't do so well in coloring in school. <laughs> I flunked all those grades and all those classes to draw and to okay. shouldn't say that out loud. Maybe I should do it next time, like how they do it on TV when they're cooking stuff and they show you how to cook it. And then they just pull out, you know, the the food already cooked. And say, this is how it's supposed to look in 45 minutes. Okay, well, I'll stop there. <clears throat> Thank you.